Thanks, Coop, for starting the video. And folks are tuning in to get some tips on how to make the time go faster on the plane, fly smarter, and you might get lucky. Seven air travel tips. We are going to start with safety. And my question is, what seat do you request? Aisle, window, or middle? For my people who said aisle, this is why you do not want to sit on the aisle. This guy and people like him. Who is that? That is somebody from Jack and Apes Productions. He's got the giant backpack. He is entirely clueless and he's coming your way. And you're sitting on the aisle. Who's this person on the phone? That's going to be a first responder when we got the person who gets knocked out and needs medical attention. And we've got him heading down. We see a lot of folks on the plane there. They're busy on their phones. And the other gentleman right to his left, you probably have already guessed who that is, that's the guy who's about to get hit by a bus. <laughs> He's not going to make us meeting people. This plane is not getting off the ground. Brought to you by Jack and Abe's production. Here we have a nice family. They got about 72 pieces of luggage that they're going to stick in the overhead that's not going to fit. And then I got a little inside story for you. The gentleman in the red hat right there, he was on my flight. He sat in the middle row of the exit seat. Did he speak English? No. What's the requirement of sitting in the exit seat? Speaking English. When they tried to move him, he didn't understand. When you don't understand English, they're trying to move you. Does the plane move? No, there's a correlation. It took 25 minutes to get the plane off the ground due to pops right there in the red hat. So here he is. We got Jack and Apes Jr. heading down. The flight attendant's getting tackled by the backpack. And you see this young lady right here? I felt bad for her because that was the last thing she saw before she died by taking a head wound from the backpack. Oh, who's this young lady right here? She takes the prize. If you look closely there, you'll see she's got the big down jackets and it's gonna slap everybody upside the head as she heads down the aisle. Then she's got the giant backpack and the blue pillow. So she goes single shoulder, which is an advantage when you're trying to cream people going down. You don't want to center it on the back. You want it off to the right for maximum devastation. And then I have never seen a head pillow that big. I have seen people with brain trauma that have smaller pillows. Uh, that's what you call the California King. It's a little bigger, it's a little wider. Maybe you, some of you folks listening have that one. And uh, there she goes. She's heading down the aisle, and we got, uh, I don't want to say grandma, but okay, granny. Over here on the right, she's ducking, smart that way. And then uh, she did that just in time. And you've got a couple folks. So she makes her way past the first class curtain. That young lady on the left is about ready to get wiped out. Uh, and then as she traveled downstream, I was taking a look. And uh, as you can see right here, it's this point, half a second before, bam! That is what we call a two-for-one pack whack. Bam! Brought to you by Jack and Apes Production. That safety moment is over. We're moving on. I promised you seven air travel tips, and we haven't even got to number two. Number one, don't sit in the aisle seat. Uh, now, how many people sit on the window seat? If you said window seat, correct answer. Why? People don't wake you up when you're on the aisle. Everybody who has to go to the bathroom, oh, pardon me, excuse me, I gotta wake you up. Or other items, when the tray comes down the row, it smashes your foot, and uh, the you don't want to get run over by that drink tray. And then number th you're safe from the backpacks that come by from Jack and Apes. <laughs> And then number four, you get to wake people up. If you've got a small bladder, like myself, then you like to get up maybe five times in a 35-minute trip and go back and use the facilities. And you get to avoid the red wine spills. Because the person in the window goes, oh, hey, I'll take a couple red wines for my 45-minute trip. You mind handing those over to me? 
boom, turbulation, splash, you've got red wine on your Nordy shirt that you just bought for $180 that was 50% on sale. Okay, and then if you said middle, you're weird. This video is not going to help you. So, number two, air travel tip. I need you to include too many bottles in a clear toiletry bag. Why is that? Because if the plane gets stranded and can't take off, you need some anxiety medicine. And they're not going to serve anybody while it's on the ground. You just grab your little baggie, you pull them out, and you kind of do a little slurp slurp. And maybe if your neighbor's got anxiety, you let them borrow one. And you might say, hey, you are not allowed to drink your own alcohol on the plane. We'll get the same booze that the plane serves. What does that look like? There you go. Those are some of the suspects. We got your Bailey's, Jameson, Tito's Vodka on your Alaska Airlines. You can all, they serve Woodford now, which is exciting. And Hennessy. We've got a lot of fans of Hennessy out there if you hit in that bottle. Here's some steps when you get in your mini bottle. Step one, grab a Ziploc bag. Step two, you're going to want to go shopping and you're going to want to be modest with your purchases. So you don't have to fill it all the way up to the top, but I suggest at least covering the bottom three inches with mini bottles. Step number three, see how many you can stuff in that Ziploc bag. Question for you, how many mini bottles do you think are in that bag? If you said 43, you are right and you deserve a drink. Thank you for participating. I'd give you something, but it's online. It's hard to deliver that stuff. So number three, check your bag. Why are we checking our bag? So that you can be the last person on the plane. Why do you want to be the last person on the plane? So you don't get whacked by these guys, <laughs> Jack and names. Because if you're on the plane early and you say, Dave, I don't want to sit in the window, then that means you're on the aisle and you have a greater opportunity of getting, bam, smashed in the head. And so you avoid the jackanapes. And why do you want to be on the plane, or as I spell it, plan, that's Skagit Valley is how we spell that. Uh, why do you want to be on the plan longer than you have to be? Well... You can also finish your cocktail, and as I mentioned earlier, your anxiety medicine, because some people don't like to fly. That's a true fear of people, and you want to bring wet wipes, because this is the reason you should fear flying. That plane is a dirty bird, and I'm going to show you the dirtiest places on a plane right now. Number one at your tray table. 2,155 CFU. You know what CFU is? It is the bacteria population per square inch. Now, look, let's just go down there. Second is drinking fountain buttons. So, like, that is why people pay $7 for a bottle of water at the airplane. And you go down. Don't touch the air vent. That thing might kill you. But go all the way down. Number six, bathroom stall locks at 70 look at that small percentage so i would suggest the plane should make the tray table out of bathroom stall locks they would cut it down and be a lot safer that way number six play the small world game if you don't know how to play the small world game watch my other lecture series entitled cleverly enough small world you will enjoy it, and it will give you something to do to pass the time on the plane, and you might even get lucky. Number seven, do not sit next to me. Why? Because I am going to be playing the small world game, and you will not get any rest on this flight. Thank you for listening to seven air travel tips, just part of the lecture series. Curious what some of the other lecture series are, ways to get ahead in life that you should know? Here they are. We've got Small World, Loose Goose, Cone mm. of Learning, Eisenhower's Box, mm. Hansel and Gretel, Predator and Prey, Going Reptile, a personal favorite, Step by Step to Happiness, Prize and Pain, and The Crow and the Canary. Thanks for watching.